Hello everyone, welcome to MICE TV. Today we have with us Dr. Kathy Stern. Dr. Kathy Stern is a behavioral, developmental and neuro-optometrist. Welcome to MICE TV, Dr. Stern. Thank you, so happy to be here. So you are a vision therapist. For those out there who may not be familiar, can you give a quick overview of what that is? Sure, I'm an optometrist and they used to call us uh, sometimes developmental optometrists. Now they use the term more behavioral optometry or even more recently neuro optometry. But the term vision therapist comes from working with children and adults who have visual issues that are not necessarily eyesight issues. Um, but primarily I describe myself as a behavioral uh, optometrist who does vision therapy and vision rehabilitation. So what are some of the main benefits of integrating vision therapy into optometry practice? So vision therapy is really, to me, an extension of everything that we do. So when I'm examining a patient, one of the things that I do, and I always did this, which is to do a few tests that tell me a little bit about how they're processing visual information. Can they move their eyes properly, like to read from a book? Can they work their eyes together so that uh, they don't get tired or get headaches or see double? Uh, can they understand what they're looking at and make a response in a reasonable amount of time or at an appropriate time. Like if I throw you a ball, are your hands going to be there at the right time to catch it? It's your visual system that's directing that action. And so if I were finding that type of issue in a patient, one, I can ask good history questions so that they may even tell me there are certain things they struggle with. Then I do a few tests, more than just a basic eyesight test. And I can often see just from that that maybe there's something going on. So what is the research out there saying about the vision therapy and its efficacy? So there actually is some very good research about a condition called convergence insufficiency. Convergence insufficiency is that if you look closely at something, like you're holding a book and you look at the print in the book, you have to turn your eyes inward to do that. That's called convergence. And so for that, there's been quite a bit of research that actually showed that office-based vision therapy was the best treatment for that condition. There is certainly efficacy not only for vision therapy, but it used to be that we would say that after age six or eight or nine, depending who you talked with, that nothing more could be done because it wasn't done when you were young. But now we know you can have results even into adulthood. Your presentation at APOC 2023 was specifically about children with special needs. What do you think is the most important for optometrists to know about evaluating special needs kids? Well, I think the first thing is that because children with special needs often have a lot of medical issues going on, what happens is vision kind of gets left off the table. So a lot of times they don't have their vision evaluated and many children with special needs can be particularly farsighted or nearsighted where they just need eyeglasses just to see clearly. And then the other is I think a lot of doctors uh, are a little reluctant to evaluate children with special needs because they don't feel they have the expertise or the tools to do it. I think it's like evaluating any child. You have to know the level where they are cognitively. You have to know some of the issues that they may have in terms of their ability to understand you or even their ability to move their bodies in certain ways. And you have to be very flexible like with any child and have a lot of tools at your disposal. So I have maybe half a dozen ways of being able to test how well they see depending on what they can do themselves. And uh, I have instruments that I can use to get a response that they don't have to respond back. Just like when I examine infants or very young children, I can use some of those tools. If they're able to do more, I can do the same kinds of tests that I do with older children. But maybe if it's a test we'd normally time, if they have difficulty, let's say, with hand movement or even eye movement, maybe I won't do it timed because that wouldn't be fair. But I still want to get a baseline because I still am just comparing themselves even against themselves. So if I have testing at the beginning 
and then I repeat it, let's say six months later, I can see improvement. It may not be the same level that you might get in a typically developing child, but any improvement is still a help to the family and, and to the child themselves. And we would like to know how can vision therapy lend a helping hand to optometrists that see a lot of these patients? So vision therapy to me is an extension of what we already do. If I'm working with anyone and I see they have an eyesight problem, part of what I like to do is say, okay, maybe they need eyeglasses to see more clearly, but is there anything I can do to slow down that process or reverse that process? Because obviously the more clearly someone can see without any aids, that's a help. We also know that if your eyesight changes too much, you're more at risk for certain eye diseases, and so we want to slow that down. It's important for every optometrist to recognize these issues in their patient. And just like many other conditions that we see, if we treat it ourselves, we treat it. If it's something that I don't do a lot of in my practice, then I think it's my responsibility to refer them to someone who does. Just like if I don't do specialty contact lenses and someone needs them, I refer them. If they have an eye disease and it's not something I'm particularly good at treating, then I'm going to refer them. And I'd like to see more of that. We tend to get more referrals from other health professionals often than we do from other optometrists. We should have a responsibility not only about eye disease and eyesight, but to help everyone be the best they can be in terms of school, in terms of recreation, in terms of sports, uh, in terms of just daily life skills. How do you see the future shaping up for vision therapy in journal? What are some of the challenges facing its adoption and why is it worth overcoming these obstacles? So I think we'll go to the end first, which is it's worth overcoming whatever obstacles there are because there's nothing better than having someone come up to you and say, I'm doing better, I played sports now and I hit a ball when I couldn't hit a ball before. So from that standpoint, we are making people's lives better and we're changing lives every day. I think the obstacles are that uh, even though it's taught in school, there's also been kind of a change, I'd say, over the last 40 or 50 years for optometrists to do much more in terms of identifying and treating eye disease. And I think in that process, we've been doing less to help people both with eyesight problems that can't be treated with basic eyeglasses, and that's a field called low vision. And I think we're doing less with vision therapy in some ways. What we need to do is continue to educate all optometrists to say, look, you should at least be identifying these issues. And if you don't treat them, don't want to treat them, don't feel comfortable treating them, that's fine. But refer them if there's someone near you. And I think it's very rewarding and I can't imagine uh, not doing it in my practice because uh, it truly, we are changing lives every day. The children come in and they're so excited because they're able to do things they couldn't do before, uh, you know, and, and the parents are very grateful as well. And I think, I think it just makes for a better life for the child, for the family. And I feel very satisfied uh, knowing that I've, I've really made a difference. Thank you, Dr. Stern. We really appreciate all your answers and thank you very much for your time for Mice TV. Well, thank you for having me. So that was Dr. Stern. Keep your eyes peeled for latest in optometry only on Mice TV.